Welcome to another episode of Cheap Pedal Tuesdays. Now, we are looking at a pedal I have had for a long time, and you may have seen it in my other videos. It is in the uh, overdrive, uh, to, sorry, the distortion shootout, and I've used it kind of in the background in a few videos. Um, and that is the Tom's Line Plexion. Now, as the name kind of predicts, this is a Marshall in a box. It even says, Brit Stack Simulator right here. So it basically gives you that high gain, souped up Marshall tone. Now I'm running into my Seriotone, um, which has a kind of Marshall-esque clean channel. And the thing with that is you may go, okay, so Marshall-esque clean channel, that's why it sounds like a Marshall. But I've played this through a Fender Silverface Twin, which my guitarist, uh, the bass player in my band, who's also a guitarist, owns. And it even sounds more martially through that because like a lot of these pedals, they're designed for Fender clean sounds to get you that British thing. But it still sounds great through the stereo tone. Um, so it has a few basic features, volume, tone, and gain, which are quite obvious. And then you've got a bright normal switch. Now this kind of emulates the difference between uh, kind of, I'd say normal is more like the jumper channels and bright gives you that kind of bright channel thing. It's a bit more aggressive, um, a bit tighter, and a bit more upper mids too. So we'll go through some of the features. The moment I am playing my Warmoth Telecaster, uh, you know, kit guitar. Like I said, I'm playing through the Seria tone. And uh, so this has got single coils in it, but you can hear it gets pretty high gain. Now it's also a fairly quiet pedal. I'm gonna say that from the get-go. I did not turn the pedal off. I have just put the tuner on, which is sitting before the pedal, and the buzz is pretty low. It's a lot quieter than the gain channel on my amp. Um, so it does pretty well there. And but obviously, with single coils, you get that single coil hum, but that's my guitar, not the pedal. So first we'll go to the clean town, and then we'll go all 12 o'clock on the normal channel and kind of dial in from there. So this is the clap sound. <laughs> So you can hear right off the bat, it is gainy, it's that Marshall mids, it's kind of chunky, and it's great. So we're just gonna go through some of the controls, the gain range, the tone range, and then basically the bright and normal channel. <laughs> As the gain goes down, you lose 
a little bit of high end, a little bit of volume. So I'm just going to compensate for that. So you can see it is very, very gainy when you turn it up. It has plenty of gain on tap, and that's for single coils. We'll go through some humbuckers later, but like I said, plenty of gain. Uh, so let's dial it back to about here, which I reckon is the high gain lead to. <laughs> to the tone control. This seems to sound the best with everything close to 12 o'clock. Um, the tones there, obviously to compensate for your ramp. This isn't too bright, it isn't too dark, so around there is great, but if you have a really bright amp, turn and tone control can work. Um, and it cleans up pretty well, even with that amount of gain. So I just want to... Okay, so let's switch to the bright channel. Um, and so we'll go back to 12 o'clock. I'll bring the gain down a bit. You can kind of hear how much more aggressive it gets. <laughs> So you can really see that upper mids kind of cut through, it gets a bit bit kind of almost honky but not quite, it's a bit higher than that, just real bitey and thing. And the tone control then does a lot more bite. So <laughs> Thank you. 
going to the series thing which is basically sounds like the neck pickup but a bit fatter uh, so I'm just gonna kick on a bit of delay and we're gonna just go for a bit of a kind of bluesy thing I'll bring the gain down a bit back to normal channel switch to some humbuckers and you can hear it with uh, the bridge humbucker in my J&D LP. Okay as you can see I've now got this guitar so I'll show you the clean tone and we'll uh, go back to that uh, 12 o'clock kind of thing and I'll put on the bright just to give you that more aggressive thing as well so <laughs> So this has got a custom five in the bridge, which is on the you know medium to hot scale of humbug. You can hear it is really breaking up that a little bit, even though I'm set extremely clean here. So let's put the pedal on.
And uh, I'll go really, really light with the Les Paul as well. Uh, and what we can hear there. To more of a crunch tone. Line Plexion. Now this thing is under fifty dollars Australian online. Now I'm finding it harder to find the Tom's Line stuff on eBay. I know you can direct order it from a few shops, but it's exactly the same as the Aroma stuff. Now the Aroma pedals don't have this bar here, and this is good because the only thing with these Chinese pedals is the pots are generally managed the board. So if you start stamping on that and kicking on it, you can break them quite easily, and this bar obviously helps with that. But without the bar, you can still get it. Uh, aroma, so if you think it's still called the Plexion, search Aroma Plexion on eBay. I'll try and find some sites to some direct shops as well. I know it, they'll also be on a lot of those uh, Chinese stores like AliExpress. Um, so I'll try and find links there. But this is one of the best kind of martial arts game pedals I've played under $200. I mean, I have a pinnacle on my board um, that's more touch sensitive, a bit more amp-like, but this does a different thing, but also great and also martially. So yeah, and, and sometimes I prefer it to the gain channel on this because um, like I said, it is slightly quieter. I could run it before all my um, delays and reverbs and that, and uh, it just has a certain kind of attack and aggressiveness to it that I like. Uh, so thanks again, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, check out the other videos. Uh, so Cheap Pedal Tuesdays, I'll try and be, I'm going to change it so it's going to come out uh, the first uh, day, month, first month, what am I talking about? The first Tuesday of the month, so I'm not sure if this will be the next one after I film this or the following, but just look out for it. So the first Tuesday of every month, I'll be doing a under $100 Australian uh, pedal, which is about 60 US, 70 US, depending on the market. Um, but yeah, so basically cheap pedals you can put on your board. By the end of the year, I'm gonna put them all together, do a bit of a shootout of the drive pedals, put together a board, and we'll have basically a cheap pedal board you can take with you to gigs, you know, the smaller gigs, you don't wanna take the big pedal board, whatever, and still get some great tones. So like I said, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.